and welcome back to you fine ladies and jelly beans as we saw in the first half MF did manage to finish the map so he's up to class to do better and this one we are definitely seeing a, a lot more projectiles than previous scrims I can't see much because of the smoke, there's not much I can do about that, I only can see where I can see. We've got Biggity going ham with his messer. Ooh, Fat Cow with, he skewered them. He got two on one with that one. Two in one, should I say. Oh, their archer got killed. I didn't even know. And, as you can see, the bodies are just... Scattered around the field. It's like a game of total war, which I really need to start playing again. <laughs> it's a random section of my life. Everyone loves it. But not as much as they love my sexy voice. Gonna move the camera around so we can see a lot more of what's going on. And Jesus, MF, once again, <laughs> their teamwork is amazing. <laughs> now, as I can say, let's have a look. What they again? It's just three vanguards and three knights. That is an absolute powerhouse. I mean, that setup. Right there is for pure damage and resilience. They are going in this thinking we'll use projectiles for ranged, we don't need archers, and then we're going to use our weapons to do all the heavy hitting. Plus their vanguards, I have just noticed, are all using very long range weapons. We have spears and pole arms all the way. Biggity going to get th two in one with support of his teammates. Could bring down Mary, no. Biggity's going to back off. He's going to fall down and Altsy is going to come in and support his teammates. Gets both of them. That's a double. Cart is not going anywhere anytime soon. I said, no, Clash have pretty much the same setup except with one archer to replace the vanguard. So they haven't changed up any of their playstyles. They, they go in, attack how they defend, and vice versa. Now Clash has started to get some teamwork together. Jimmy's being chased, he's calling for his team. He's running like going, help me, help me, help me! In the team speak, I bet. <laughs> A biggity! Tut tut! You've only left one guy to push the cart. And Clash just do not have the manpower right now. They're dropping one by one. Two left. One left. Here comes another reinforcement. No, he... <laughs> he actually was running at them. Saw there was only one left in his team. And then turned around straight away. He is waiting for those reinforcements. Now, MF have the decision. Push up aggressive. Which they are. Or they could stay far back. And we all know the benefits of pushing up aggressive. You get the extra ground on your opponent, even if you all fall, you still got time to fall back, respawn, whatever, to get back to cards and stop it from being pushed. Seen a lot of team kills today. We have BD supporting his player that Mary is clearly an absolute dominator. 
for MF. I've seen them in the SM server and it always ends up with me dying. The reverses are so crisp. Oh, it's all gonna get Kobe'd! Only five minutes left. The timer has ticked down. Jimmy, I believe that's a triple he's got. Mary with a double. And it's Azure to pick off Jimmy. No one gonna be ninjuring this cart with suspiciously, suspiciously tanned individuals, even though they're dead. They should be, like, ghostly white. I mean, they're dead. Why are they tanned? Doesn't make sense. Once again, projectiles are the way forward for these teams. As we saw that Mary's reverse, it was just too good. But we're going to move forward and see how the assault on the cards is doing. And that was it, the assault has stopped. With a rune falling to his death. MF not going to play too aggressive. Meeting clash about midway. So if MF do fall, this may give clash enough time to run up and push the cart. But apparently we're having another pause. What's the reason this time? That's an awful lot of pauses. There should be a system where you can have only like one or two pauses. Now, I mean, if you've got to pee, you got to pee. If you want a tactical pause, then that's your choice to use a pause and talk about it. Just a suggestion. And obviously you can't help it if somebody's game crashes. Ah, uh, but it is due to technical difficulties on Jimmy's behalf. Has he got high ping? Let's have a look. If he's 92, yeah, that's bad. Oh, it's the team speak though. Voice calm problems. Why would you give him a guitar? I don't understand this community sometimes. And according to some, a, a YouTube comment, it's apparently my community. It's not. It's really not. We're all we're all players in a game called Chivalry. It is our community. Just have fun with it, and don't be a dick. Although my one rule is, if somebody's a dick to you, that that, that I, I call that fair game. Be a dick all you want. Speedy gonna be doing damage from range, take down all team, Muffin Man gonna be doing it, bigger than Fatco. I've become an auctioneer. Rune going ham, gets another double. He needs to be careful though. He, those misses are costing him. I think they may have took a little bit too much time, yet they're gonna. somebody's going to be able to defend that card. With less than three minutes, it's looking bleak. Well, that card is getting moved. Biggity has that. Absolutely monster of a sword. Kai is gonna make it. And boom goes the dynamite. Now, Jimmy, you teleport. Uh, his ping is rising, yeah, but let's have a look at everyone's doing. Muffin Man is MVP, but Heist Fragger will go to Altsy. Their MVP. Oh, now Altsy is also MVP. 
what a, what a strange turn of events. He's going 12-7 with four assists. Biggity for Clash. His MVP and Heisfragger going 15-6 with eight assists. I'd go to the doctor about those assists. <laughs> Get it? Ass, ass, assists. It, it sounds like ass, assists. I'm I'm just lonely. <laughs> my 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 jokes are bad. Give me a break. Got a bit of team damage there, and by the muffin man. As so you're now going to be doing some team damage and killing muffin man. Cow was he was stuck I mean he couldn't move this way he couldn't escape this way he was gonna die <laughs> big and eat surrounded we'll go down you can see with them as well their heavy hitting weapons are Pretty much made for fighting knights and vanguards. I mean, there's no dodging, so they don't really need particularly fast weapons. The spears can keep them at range, along with the pole arms. Ooh, Mo, gonna be using the claymore, which used to be. Well, it is my preferred weapon for the Vanguard. Room gonna eat a throwing axe. Smoke once again blocking my view. It's lovely. Biggity doing well to see that reverse coming at him. Oh wow! As you're not only killing Toll, but goes straight through and brings down his own teammate. Ouch. And Clash have bought themselves nine minutes. Or at least nine minutes is left. Now the card is doesn't look like it's going anywhere. I mean, just look at that clash of running in, getting cut down, and then because they don't have the player advantage, the rest of them are just getting ganked and falling. You have some weird um, rock bagging there. Mo losing his helmet gets hit square in the gabba. That was a nice drag by Biggity. He still had a lot of trouble parrying those spears. <laughs> we saw Muffin Man trying to do a, a sneaky duck, but it wasn't enough. And Mary doing all they could, but to no avail. And Clash managing to keep four players alive. That's good. That's good momentum. That axe looks like it went way over, but apparently it hit. Oh my god. Throwing axes for days. Muffin Man to the Kobe. Toll with a double. Now, this is... Their positioning is a lot better by Clash. Toll not able to read those feints. And Muffin Man will fall back. To get a double and support his teammate. Gonna sit down and regenerate. I believe this is on Merc's mod, so that regen is gonna be absolutely mega when crouching. Oh, 
speedy with the double, really. The archer's gonna get a double. And it was all melee. And Mo with a double now. He's answering back. Claymore. OP. Speedy's blood is gonna drip down off the wall and eventually feed the plants themselves. There's a dark picture for you. Got to go? What are you, a peasant? <laughs> you have a life? You must be a peasant. <laughs> that got Tall Square in the eye. Holy shit, that reverse by Ulti was absolutely beautiful! Ah, he's just resting. He ain't dead, he's, he's resting, his spear in the ground, he's leaning, he, he's just tired. He's also got a pink cat on his clothing. How kawaii. Once again, as soon as MF starts killing, it just goes straight downhill for class. They don't have the players to hold them off. MF keep getting those picks and it's causing Clash to get ganked every time. And that brandy stock is fucking stupid! Torn banner, remove it! Please! We have five minutes left. That cart is nowhere near where it needs to go. Once again, as you saw, MF got the picks. They can then gank the players that are left. History just keeps repeating itself, and they also have the, you know, the player disadvantage anyway, because one of their players is an archer, he's not going to be going into melee straight away unless he has to. Jimmy with a double! Using the pole arm. He's got some kind of, what, is that an axe? A pink axe? It looks like a Super Saiyan axe. Except it's pink. Oh, room with the double, this could be the opening that Clash needs. And just when it looks like they had an opening, it all goes downhill. Until Speedy is just left to fall back. Let's have a look at the scores because we haven't looked at it in a while. And as you can see, apart from Dead Cat, it's pretty much a consistent score for Edith. While with Clash, it's a bit more flux. I mean, <laughs> MF are doing team kills too. Dead Cat with a double. But it, it doesn't matter, there's still always one one player down. I'm not saying Speedy is bringing his team down, I'm just saying that Clash do have one man less when it comes to the melee. I mean, he has landed some good shots, he's doing early damage, and as an archer, that's all he can pretty much do. All comes down to that gank. Yes, yes, yes. Speed is a good player. I mean, he landed the shot there. He knows 
He's, he's, well, he's, he's gonna reload his crossbow. The shield on the back of that knight is gonna be. He's gonna hit it. So no damage dealt there. Whoa! Hit the tree again! Damn smoke! Oh, Tom, they're going for the, uh... I forget what action that, that, that's called, but I rarely use anything that isn't a sword. Ooh, Speedy gonna get Mary right in the face! Power right in the kisser! And already only one minute is left. Clash do not have enough time. The best they can do now is get some kills, regain some honor, and walk away with their heads held high. Oh, is he all gonna be falling to his death? <laughs> Slips right off the wooden bridge. One thing I will give to Clash is most of the time when the countdown starts ticking away a team will start scrambling desperately and running in all in one it'll just be and that's it you can see their toll just they're done it's over and that is it MF have one, not only did they finish the map on the first half, they also stopped Clash from finishing this one. So that is GG, well played to both teams. It was a pretty good one, it was nice seeing MF once again, I, you know, I rarely get to see them in a scrim, I think it's like one other time. I've, I've even recorded, no, I don't think I've ever recorded an MF, so... No, I did! I remember, because I called them MJ, of course, how can I be a fucking idiot? <laughs> but yeah, maybe we'll see a lot more of them. Maybe we won't, so we'll just have to wait and see. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, and that Vanguard ass though. <laughs> if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and or subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. And I'll see you all on the battlefield. Take care.